Yep, we bought a plane. What's up, JR Aviation? Welcome back to the channel. Glad to see you guys here on another new video. This is gonna be a super exciting one because like the title thumbnail suggests, like we actually bought a plane, we reserved a plane. And it's a plane that probably is very different than what a lot of you had in mind. We're in the Tesla today because that's a little bit of an indication. Yes, so this plane, we are super excited to share it with you all because it is brand new. So brand new that there's there's really nothing like it. It will be the first FAA certified fully electric aircraft. I'm thinking Tesla of the skies. Yes, you guys heard that correctly. Gone are the thousand moving parts in a gas engine. Mm -hmm. Gone are expensive fuel costs. Yeah, just heavy maintenance. And obviously with a plane, you have to be very strict with your maintenance because mm -hmm. It has your life there and you're flying up in the air. At least cars are on the ground. Like if Ferrari mm -hmm. craps out, okay, you pull over into a parking lot. Planes, not so easy. But the so. Sunflyer is a super good glider. It has an amazing uh, glide ratio. That is true. Um, just to speak to the efficiency of the plane, just like a Tesla's efficiency, the performance and the uh, and the efficiency is, is second to none. So mm -hmm. we're so, so excited for this. And uh, when we did hint at it back in a previous video on JR Garage, we bought a plane last uh, two years ago at Oshkosh. We did, we reserved a Sunflyer 4, four-seater, uh, brother and friends, and we could really use the uh, the four-seater in long range, get to take that thing on fun trips. But with, uh, with the JR Aviation Channel, you know, going strong already, we wanted to get after things a little bit quicker. So we placed another reservation. <laughs> we bought two planes. <laughs> we bought two planes. And this one is a Sunflyer 2. It's their two-seater. It'll be great for training for us as we work toward our license. It's something that we've been looking forward to and, and working our way toward saving up because it's an expensive proposition, but less expensive with the Sunflyer. The hourly costs are like next oh, yeah. to nothing. Wait till we talk about that. We'll give you some specs in just a moment here. Yeah, speaking of milestones, they've hit some big ones over at Bio Aerospace and Sunflyer, the first of which being their first flight of the Sunflyer 2. That was awesome. Also locking in some of their contracts for the uh, um, motor and the battery system I believe and the avionics and they're getting all that stuff locked in so that they can be ready for production you know as soon as uh, they attain that FAA certification they're working closely with them and they are getting it done they'll be first to get it done which is huge with, with that FAA certification like to think electric plane FAA certified like you said it's gonna be the first one ever that that is monumental it's not gonna be a experimental homemade project yeah, yeah, there are those yeah. out there and they're cool. So they, they've kind of proven the concept for us. I have seen a few electric planes and it's been great. But um, but this is, you uh, know, fa factory level. built and everything. <laughs> this is the best of the best. Uh, gaining more reservations and more deposits and orders placed for the plane. So that's awesome. And speaking of reservations, guys, it cannot be simpler. Link down below will be all the information, their contact information, websites, also more information about the plane. We're gonna talk about the specs in just a second here, which are crazy, but there's a lot more to it, and there's a lot more specs that I'm sure we'll leave out. Um, but ordering, the reservation cost for a two-seater, $5,000, and for the four-seater, $10,000. It's not like you have to put 50% down, 125 grand now. No, it's actually really reasonable to reserve the plane and to lock in your spot yeah. because guys, you don't know like when the next flight school is gonna order a ton of planes and then if you order after that, you're gonna be months and months and months pushed out because they gotta make those before you because they got in first. So to lock in your spot now, get your order in, you can contact them and for that low amount of money, you can literally lock in a new plane. Yeah, and similar to Tesla, if you mention JR Aviation, JR Garage, the, the YouTube guys, then they will take care of you. George over there and, and everyone else there will take care of you and also a special uh, gift to you bonus perk will be a uh, perfect desktop scale model and those are always mm -hmm. awesome. You get to look forward to, to your plane or think about your plane that's sitting in the hangar when it's when it's there on your desk. Yeah, those are super cool and they're not cheap but it's yours as a free bonus when you order the plane if you just mentioned JR Aviation. Like you said, they'll take care of you. They are just awesome people and that's why we just speak so highly of them. We've met them so many times now. We've known them for years. So great relationship and moving forward, we've been able to do a lot of things with them. So yeah, I think that they're the people to get the job done. Enthusiastic about the electric aviation and also the uh, the team and the experience behind oh, it. You guys can look, in, team. look into that for yourself. <laughs> Not as many people 
yeah, as many young people are getting into it and causing a bit of a pilot shortage when, you know, in the future there's, I think, air travel is going to be even more important. You talk about Uber and Lyft and all these air taxis. So to something like that, I think it's really going to be a big deal in the future and it's a well-recognized uh, shortage that will be coming up. Yeah. So this is a way to, you know, if you're into aviation, um, get, get in for a reasonable cost as you're training because of those specs, the training exactly. cost. This will, this will absolutely change the training game because before it's like, over, well over hundred dollars per hour mm -hmm. while training but yeah. the, the operating costs on this wait till you hear this so normally to get your private pilot's license it's like 40 hours it'll probably end up costing you around ten thousand dollars yeah by the time you earn that license it's not cheap and the main expense is of course the instructor but also the plane which are not cheap to fly yeah. but now with the sunflyer too well what it what is the cost per hour including battery degradation so it's accounting for when you have to replace the battery down the line which is again in a very very long time but when you do we are accounting that what is it grand total operating cost per hour mm -hmm. 14 dollars did did you say 14 or 4d not even, not 140, not 40, $14 per hour. Compare that to anything else, which is like at least over a hundred bucks. And that's just operating costs to rent on top of that. You know, some schools charge up to $200. They, they got to turn a profit. Yeah. yeah. You know, so $14. Yep. So that takes into account uh, the, the uh, energy, electricity. So at $3 an hour is, is the fuel burn on uh, the energy burn on the Sunflyer. Oh my goodness. Um, the inspections are so much easier just because you don't have to, you know, remove a bunch of uh, engine components to, to inspect them. Um, those are at $2.40 an hour. Battery reserve, this is going toward a full overhaul, but a brand new, like, you know, battery uh, system down the line. Mm -hmm. uh, if degradation tens of years out happens um, at $8 an hour and then 60 cents an hour for if you ever have to replace yeah. the motor. So everything's accounted for. This is like $14. It's unheard of. You guys are hearing that thing like there's no way. Yes, there is. And that's why we're just so like awestruck with this plane. That's why we reserved it right away. Like, oh man, we, we cannot yeah. be more excited. And like we said, all of this information and more will be linked down below, but compare it to, you guys are wondering, Cessna 172, like the most popular training plane out there. What does that cost per hour to operate? Well, the Avgas will really get you at $44 worth per hour. Inspections at $22 per hour. Um, engine reserve, $10 an hour. But then also oil and oil changes. Mm -hmm. uh, your ignition system in a plane, that's really important and it gets uh, you know overhauled and inspected often. And then all the different accessories that run off the engine. It's just more complex and more expensive putting the total cost per hour at over $88 per hour. So that is six, over six times as much. Mm -hmm. Well over 600%, 600% more yes. for a system 172. And what, what would you guys rather learn to fly on a 1968 Cessna 172 or a 2018, 2019 Sunflyer 2? It's true. So you mentioned yeah. <laughs> yeah so that begs the question is it six times more expensive or six times less the performance not at all it will come in at the same price if not even less than a Cessna 172 so that's amazing and then also the performance oh we love performance and it's it's better in every way the the rate of climb is better the um, efficiency with the wingspan and and uh, Getting, getting to space out the, the weight of the batteries versus a uh, heavy engine up front. It's just a 40 pound motor um, that'll sit up front. So and, and the rate of climb, the acceleration, as we know, electricity, instant torque and power. You don't have to have anything rev up. It's classic mm -hmm. of electric motors. Just yeah. like with this Tesla, we have a red light here. We may have to demonstrate that in just a second. <laughs> um, and how about the sound? Quiet versus uh, with you know the internal combustion <laughs> engines. Yeah, I mean, I wonder if you might even be able to get away with uh, much less of a headset or no headset at all with uh, pretty quiet. With an electric That's plane. That's for sure. And wow. 
you have a parachute, just like Cirrus is, how you can just pull the yeah. chute if anything goes wrong, just in case, voila, you have a parachute to pull. So it is an extremely safe plane. That's why we're so excited for it. Comment down below, are you guys excited for this next chapter of the channel? Again, it's, it's still a year or two out, whatever it may be. We'll keep you guys posted with delivery times. But in the meanwhile, we're not sure I think one of us is gonna get our, our pilot's license the conventional way, non-electric, but, okay, here we go. Oh, uh, no, I call electric. <laughs> that was <laughs> too fun. I feel like one of our one of us needs to get our pilot's license like within the next year before the plane comes, and then the other one can learn on the plane um, and save some money that way. Not quite sure yet, but in the meanwhile, we'll be making plenty of content. Don't worry, this is just something to look forward to on the channel. So comment down below if you guys are as excited as we are. And like I said, check out their websites, contact information if you want to, uh, if you're interested in ordering or you have any more questions about the plane, again, feel free to see their websites and everything, but feel free to email us at jraviation33 at gmail.com. If you have any questions, ordering questions, uh, we'd be happy to answer them uh, and share our knowledge. Mm -hmm. um, but again, if you wanna order, reach out to George, mention JR Aviation and uh, he'll take care of you. Yes, awesome. Can't wait to hear what you guys think about this next step, big step, next step toward the future, the future of uh, of aviation, general aviation Crazy. especially. Not, not just we bought another car, we bought a freaking plane. <laughs> oh my goodness. And if you guys are haven't watched the JR Garage channel, we bought a McLaren, so I would suggest go checking that out. Um, there she is, she's home. Nah. Good stuff. Subscribe if you're new, like the video if you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in the comment section down below and we'll see you in Arizona next. I'll be there. Maybe we'll do some aviation stuff there. We'll see. All right, later.